Welcome to another edition of the UMO Coaches Show. Ryan Smith is joined alongside head women's basketball coach Wendy Lee and wrap up edition of the season as Trojans' expectations, I guess, fell a little bit short uh, following the semifinals against Emmanuel. You know, coach, it's, it was a kind of a wild ride this season. Saw kind of a roller coaster of emotions, wins, losses, <clears throat> basically everything you could, I guess, hope for and not hope for in a season. Uh, just talk about your. We'll dive into the game here in just a second. Just talk about what your thoughts were on the season as a whole, because uh, this team had a lot of fight in it all year long, and uh, obviously not the way you want to end the season. But there was a lot of fight in this team all year long. Yeah, um, that I did appreciate about our group. We, um, you know, we've talked in several of our conversations that we've had to figure it out and find different ways to be able to put together enough to play against a really competitive league this year. And um, I feel like we, we won some games that were different each time. Mm -hmm. So that in itself required a lot of fight and a lot of um, will to win. And I think we had that. We just didn't have enough of other components in certain games and certain matchups. So um, I think we were pretty realistic, too, as a group in, in knowing where our deficiencies were. So we were trying to make up for places that we lacked things. And I think we we're, you know, becoming – connected and figuring out how to win together as a team and I feel like had the season had a few more weeks in it we were figuring it out but it just happened a little bit too late in my opinion and you know we we fell short but I feel like we put a good run together and with uh, some of the weaknesses that we had and deficiencies in certain positions that were prominent throughout the year um, in light of the things that we didn't have, I think we made up for it with a lot of heart and a lot of effort. And you can never, you know, be disappointed in that when your your players are playing really hard and fighting and not giving in to adversity. And, and those things I really appreciate about this group, that we, we did have a lot of fight. And I don't think we checked out on each other and, and just gave in to adversity. So you have to give a lot of credit to a group that battles when, you know, maybe they're kind of the underdog, you know, right. whether we want to acknowledge it or not, most games we went into, we were the underdog in, in my mind in some areas, so we had to fight, and I'm proud of them for that, and, um, you know, you, you still have a little hole at the end of the season when you feel like you could have gone further, and you definitely wanted to go further, but... Um, we lost to a good team that ended up winning the conference tournament and advancing to the NCAA. So you, you take a little comfort in that, but very little. You still want to win and, and be playing today in the Sweet 16 um, like some of the regional teams will play today. And, you know, I still know they're playing and we, we could potentially have been there, but it gives us um, focus of, of where we need to be next year to be able to be in this position to – be playing today to still be playing in postseason play and and we, we we got to fill some big holes we got some things to take care of so we're anxious to see what this new year brings with our recruiting class and how we might gel together with the returners because I think we have a good core coming back well you talked about that if you're going to fall to somebody and they take that next step and and, and Emmanuel did end up winning the, the Conference Carolina's Women's Basketball Championship you know you take a little bit of Okay, well, at least the, the team we lost to did eventually go on and, and, and win the whole thing. Um, they, like you said, just take a little bit a little of bit. that, and not a whole ton. In that game, what did you? What was the key for you that was the the lack that you guys had? Because again, it, it, we've seen all season long. It's it's been the little things, whether it's been the rebounding or, or that that extra pass that just hasn't been there, the communication, whatever it's been yeah. for you in that game in particular. Because like we've talked about all season long, when you get to the postseason. The scouting reports get thrown out. Everything it comes down to some of those little tiny things that just don't connect. And there was a double-digit lead for Emmanuel going into the fourth that they kind of held on to. What what for you was the key aspect in the loss? Well, you know we played them even, and at halftime we're up by two or three, I think. So it's been a while now I'm trying to yeah, move right. on. But I, I know we were um, we were close at halftime and even into the third quarter, it, it could have really gone either way. It was just kind of, you know, our defensive effort was, was there. Um, I feel like our, our mind and mentality was good. Um, we had a couple players get fouls early that I think, um, I think when Jada got two fouls, she kind of had some, some 
different things to fight through, mm -hmm. and I think that affected us when she wasn't on the floor, and we found a way to still go in at halftime um, with a decent, you know, feeling, but I think you can get out of it a little bit and just get out of your norm, and um, I thought a couple players weren't at their very best, but we were all still playing really hard, and um, I think the key was Emmanuel was hitting shots and we were not. We weren't able to find offense when we needed it to be able to counter some of their momentum that was happening for them off of hit shots that they were getting from the bench and from their starting lineup. So their depth and their ability to score the ball started wearing on us because we couldn't offset it with a bucket at times. And, and I think, you know, our resilience was still there even down to the end. But, you know, I could see that we were, we were becoming concerned mm -hmm. that we weren't able to get the ball to go in or to get the, the ball in the right place at the right time. And I just think lack of um, offensive production was the main key. And, and we've battled that throughout the season is that, you know, we've got to be able to get some production in the paint and the post, and we've got to knock down some threes. And these are areas that we had deficiencies and we got to make up for it somehow. We've got to turn them, turn them over and get some layups or get some really big offensive boards from, you know, possessions that we need to get a put back or get to the free throw line and get somebody open that hadn't knocked down a shot yet, right. somebody other than, you know, Felicity, you know, so we've, and we've done that some games, other players have just stepped up, but that game, I think it just became extremely difficult because no one was really knocking down shots and we didn't get to the free throw line and we weren't turning them over and the offensive putbacks that we've seen Jada get and, and change the, the whole outcome of the game with some of her, you know, outstanding right. rebounding games that, that show me, you know, that's when the game turned around and we took over. We just didn't have that moment um, to where we could string together several possessions and, and then it just kind of pulled away from us. But, you know, I still think we competed and could have won that game, but not without something, you know. We didn't, really didn't have anything to identify that we could call on mm -hmm. to get some offense. And, you know, that that becomes a feeling of anxiety when you know this is your last game. And yeah. if you can channel it and, and put it into defensive intensity and getting stops and turning them over, then it's okay that you're getting right. a little wound up like it's going to convert into defensive stops. And they were just able to counter our defense and get some good buckets. And so we didn't get that relief from a defensive stop to give us some offensive latitude to feel a little better that we were not pressed here. So I think it just continued to build up and you know it's hard to overcome it. It is when they've got multiple weapons and we're not really able to find one. You know so but the fight was there and, and kids battled and everybody wanted it. It was not a lack of desire or effort. It was just lack of offense. So two part question for you. We talked about, and you teased a little bit for next season, this Trojan team does not lose a lot going into next season, although it does lose a lot. It does lose, lose Felicity Haven. So question part one for you as a coach and kind of going into the player aspect of your brain a little bit, what's it going to be like losing Felicity as, as a leader and as offensive production as she's been for this team, what's it going to be like losing her going into next season, and how do you replace that? And then secondly, what are your expectations from the coaching staff of these players that have put up some of those games? We've seen Kelly Post come forward. We've seen the Zaria Fields, you know, come in some of those games you talked about where some other people had to step up, you know, when other players had down nights, um, and even in Jada as well. What are your expectations as the coaching staff for next season? Well, to address the first with Felicity graduating, um, you know, when you have a special player like that that has a, a really broad diversity of being able to score the ball in multiple ways, you know, we, we really relied heavily on her to a point to where it could have been a fault at, at times that we may have stepped back and watched her play too much as a team at times, and that kept the um, – being able to spread some of the offense, you know, because we're, we're giving her these opportunities and she's making those opportunities as well. But um, I think knowing that that hole is there should be motivation for the returners. Like, 
I've got to step up. You know, I, as a player this summer, I've got to work hard. I need to, you know, branch out. I've got to bring it offensively and defensively next year. But I think them knowing that we've um, had such a really good player on our team that's going to be leaving should give them the motivation to have an extremely good offseason. Um, and being able to replace Felicity is, is impossible that you, you know, find another player right. just like Fee and maybe anybody as good as Felicity individually. So we're not particularly looking in that perspective. You know, we're, we're just trying to put together the best unit for next year and um, be able to have other returners step up and then add some really um, key players into the mix. Um, we've we've got to get better at, on the perimeter, score on the ball. we got to find some three-point ability somewhere, whether it be from the returning group or from new kids. And we got to develop our post game more. And, you know, those are places that we've got to search as a staff to find the right players to fit into those areas. But um, Fee's going to continue to try to play beyond now, and, and we want to help her. And hopefully she'll be around to have words of wisdom for this new group starting out. Uh, because we're a new team now. It's Absolutely. not next year. We, we are a new team now. And, and the new group is here. Uh, we just got to add some to it. And she's you know, going to be a Trojan forever. Okay. So we want to keep her involved. And maybe after she plays, she'll be coaching somewhere and, and keep this a part of her forever. But um, our expectations for the future is, is really high. We want to surpass as, you know, we want to go better than we did this year. We want to be deeper. We want to be stronger. We want to be able to finish the season and win a championship. And, we fell short, so I think with knowing what we're losing and knowing how we fell short, there's motivation already to just get back in the gym. Like I think some of the kids are ready to get back at it and we can't really practice right now. Right. And I think, you know, you could just be glad it's over and people could just be chilling and, and not even worried about getting back on the court. But I sense from the group, they miss it and they're ready to start working. I think they're they're kind of got that hole in their stomach like I do. Like this season went well because we had a great season. I right. mean, we're 17 and 11 and we're, we, we had a great record overall and it could have been a lot worse. You, you know, you want to say that we acknowledge we had a strong season, but not where we wanted to be. You know, we, we wanted to be the best team in the league. So I think knowing we didn't achieve that and we are losing a key player is, is a lot of motivation right now. I think we're still feeling like we're capable. Like I don't think we end the season disappointed and discouraged and like a hopeless feeling. I think everybody's really hungry. I think they wish we had practice today. Yeah. And for that to be the case, you know, I've had some seasons in where I think the kids were relieved and they were ready for it to be over and it was just, you know, kind of a different vibe than what I'm sensing right now. So I feel really good about the nucleus and the future and just, you know, got anxiety about who we're going to sign and how it's going to end up as far as the new recruiting class. But um, hopefully the right people will, will land here with us if we get together, put together a, a season that will even top this year and, and get us further into it next season and postseason play. So looking forward to the future. Well, Coach, you guys have had a really good season. And any Anytime you can make it to the conference playoffs and, and make it to as far as you guys did, you know, the semifinals is, is nothing to shake a stick at. So you guys have had a great season. So congratulations to you guys. And hopefully this time, you know, next year we can be talking about it and have a conference championship yeah, to, to hang up behind us and, <laughs> and then continue to be talking about some postseason play further yeah. on beyond that. So congratulations to you guys. You guys Thank had a great you, season. Thanks. Until next season on the UMO Coaches Show for Head Coach Wendy Lee, I'm Ryan Smith. This has been another edition of the UMO Coaches Show here on the Trojan Sports Network.